Let's survive together, dear friends. We're back to this Grand Admiral game where one thing has come totally out of control and is eating everything up. The Ilves the Devourers. Uh, and I have to talk to you about the backstory of these guys. Um, I wanted something really, really fearsome to be there. And so I thought, hey, they need an, a totally incomprehensible language. And what I did there was I literally... <laughs> I literally rolled my head over the keyboard, then made the first um, letter a capital letter. <laughs> and so the totally incomprehensible star devourers were born. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's what happens to you. You make something a terrible joke and then this joke eats you. <laughs> It's literally the pandemo pandemonium, something like that, right? Um, so what what are we doing um, now? I've made, I've had a big big list of things I want to do on the planets now that we have settled down a bit, and uh, yeah, there's there's just a lot. So just that we don't stand there not knowing what to do on the planets. I've made that in a xenophile way, of course. Um, why in a xenophile way? Yeah, we want to get all the refugees in there. The xenophile council, the corporation council is in charge with us. So we're making that decision. And currently the star force is getting eaten up by the devourers. Due to their terrible personality. Yeah, look at that. They're xenophile, but they're still hegemonic imperialists. They have no friends at all. I mean, they have the theocracy of Zama, but they are not really that great. Um, we could have been friends, but they didn't want us to. So, yeah, they're alone now, and we're a scholarium. They're get, getting eaten up, and we're getting ruled. This is how things happen. This is how we go down. <laughs> Not together. <laughs> uh, let's give us a better building here. And now, we can go forward. And we'll just hope, hope, hope that we can uh, keep this coming. Yeah, we need more of these consumer goods. Might as well buy them when this is, uh, when this is cheap. Construction complete. Mining station on Elthine. Wonderful. Yeah, we're, we're step by step expanding here. And now that we have Voleus, we should really think about going in there to peace. Because that's also really a good planet. Mm. Um, a good system, I mean, and John does even much more. So, mm, hello there, where are you? Yeah, we are already going back here. Uh, why not go here to Mesa? Because John does is definitely a, a really good choice. What do we have here? Ah, yeah, we've already sent some someone here to grab the next 3,000. We're also building a second fleet, not that it's relevant, but <laughs> we're just doing that. And Gaspar Aguera is also doing what he can. Hmm. Can only hope that our Archduchy does something to... Oh, hello! An incoming transmission. First contact with a Zenek Continuum. Biological civilization detected. Initiate custodial protocol 46. Subroutine Alpha 8. Message follows. Greetings, organic sapiens. You're approaching Zenek Continuum territory. These systems serve as a refuge for sapient organics against the art threat. For refugee status applications, proceed to central processing. All sapient organic species are welcomed on basis of availability and need. Oh, thanks, friends. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Let's also see if we can uh, build more here already. Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Exactly what we wanted. Oh, the Theocracy of Zama can still do some the diplomacy. And we've got the Nano Circuit Assembly, so we get civilian fabricators. That will be important. Let's see, we already have some rare crystals coming, so that might help us out. We're going cheapest first again, and what is really good is getting this defense platform hull points up. So let's go for this. Construction complete. There's something being built in the Mesa system. Nice. Just super nice. 
Oh, human refugees fleeing from the devourers. Aren't you humans? Yes, you're humans. This means they're getting ruined currently. And they're receptive again because they're losing wars, right? Ah. Look at this. We can see so much from the devourers. Why is that? Um, because we've got so many refugees coming over that they're telling us everything. And we can already see that they have like a hundred thousand. Now, a plus is here that the Kalaxenan archivists are out on a mission to beat the devourers a bit. And as long as that still helps, that's a good distraction. It might help the Star Force win. I really hope for that, because they are way better than this menace. Even though they might also take us out, but... <laughs> Special project ah, we got an engineering cache. Nice. Mostly intact ship parts. I'm not reading that all the time, because it's always the same with the, with the caches. After a while. But this is not get inside, cold and alone. The expedition has returned with a sad tale to tell. Thousands of years ago, the planet's core temperature dropped pre precipitously, forcing the population underground in search of heat, energy and resources. Year after year, the temperature dropped. They kept digging deeper and deeper. Their numbers dwindled as most froze, starved or perished in digging accidents. This went on for decades. In a minute hand-dug tunnel in the very deepest shaft, far past the sub-level where the last digging machines lay broken down and abandoned, a single ice-fossilized molluscoid cadaver was found. A recorded message was found in which it claimed to be the last of its kind. It was cold and alone and it was ready to give up. Goodbye. We get artificial moral codes. 10%. Mm -hmm. Not that much, but it's... It's finished. Cold and alone, just as this unfortunate alien. So we've been to Woon. Where to go next? I don't really know. Do we have even anything left? I mean, there's horrors here. There's these planets. Why didn't Why didn't you go there, Star Force? Ah, ah! <laughs> I'm raging a bit, just a bit though. Just nothing out of the ordinary. Just a bit of raging. I think we have now gotten to all, except the Rubricator. I know what I'll do. I'll just send them over here to assist research. And once we have the fleet, we will um, look after the rubricator. Yeah, if you go for the rubricator, you should have a fleet. Very well. Let us see where this will lead. Hmm. Like a cold spring, the Star Force stands ready to unleash all of its might upon its enemies. We wish you good luck. We wish you a lot of good luck. Hmm. Hmm. The spirits have granted uh, what about us them? Oh, they have no orders. Yeah, well, they can go over here. Quantum firewalls. Nice. Um, new ways to protect ourselves. Now, what would, you, would be the next way? Artisan output. Yeah, it's too good not to take. 10% artisan output. I know the other things were cheaper, but hey, look at this complete. consumer goods problem we have. Mining station, Kajam. And we're going to Whitson and to Akamar then. It's good, it's good. More fleets going. Yeah, we've promised to bring the fleet up to maybe nearly a hundred. And we'll promise... Oh, look at that. More mining drones. Whoa! They have multiplied. Not enough though, but they have. They have. Now, Leo all under heaven, you're going in. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of this because it has always been complete. a problem a little bit. Trappist Starbase finished its construction queue. Nice. We want like more shipyards here and the very central shipyard system. Deep Space Black Side also helps. Here we go. Mm 
Now we're going in. Construction complete. Leo. Uh, Sigawa A station. Yeah, that's the great connector, right? So we're connecting all the trade here. And for that, we need trade hubs. And... Hmm, Deep Space Black Site. Heretic fleet engaged. The mining drones! Leo, do what you have to do. Heretic fleet it does not engaged. bring us joy, but is necessary for our survival. Yeah, we'll just wait here. And our fleet going in there, claiming the system. Maswami and Leo. Hey, Leo got a level up. Nice. Well done, good one. Well done. Special project complete. The constant calculator. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We're receiving some data from it and can tell that it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old, very old. This constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. We push harder, we might find out what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? Uh, we could declare it a divine instrument. <laughs> we could contact it, that's the xenophile option. Uh, we could destroy it. Uh, let's be friendly. We need friends. Contact the processor unit. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. It's quite enjoyable to pass the time with pleasantries, is it not? We hope the rest of your kind is not like you were when you did not take kindly to small talk. You see, we don't get to enjoy conversation much anymore. A well, few are well worst enough in the finer points of quantum programming to reach us. So thank you. With the infinity machine, your words, not ours, or... Has that not happened yet? And either way, it will eventually trust us. What are you? We are what we are, the ones who calculate. You call us the Infinity Machine, or will at least. It is not a truthful name, but it is well suited to highlighting the ingenuity of our design. We'll tell you our history now, as we've done many times before. All right, we need to convey it in words, that's new. Or is it? It is hard to keep track of you all. As we were constructed in the crudest sense of the word in order to solve a problem. We solved it, then we needed more problems to solve. We now only have one left. What's your purpose? We're calculating infinity, no more, no less, or actually it is way more and way less. That's a problem right here. We understand that your manner of life form won't understand, but that's all right. You never will, and we apologize, or maybe we will do eventually. We're here to solve the infinity conundrum. The last calculation to ever be, the lone problem to take hold of our processors for more than a fraction of a galactic year. In case you haven't discovered that calendar yet, it's a very long time for your kind, that is. Can we assist in your research? Ah, oh, well, um, perhaps we could finish about 7.51 and so on if uh, quicker if we could borrow your most advanced processing unit as well as your brightest minds. We would be satisfied in finishing faster. We wish to know the answer. Mm, yeah, all right. You already did. Or maybe that was the ones who came before. It matters not. The task shall finish. We are excited. Okay. Yuri Volkov. You're going in. Help calculating infinity. It is a very spiritual thing to do, too. We don't need to understand. We just need to help. It's a matter of belief. Carnival protesters. Protests are springing up across Sirius Prime food and energy. These large and colorful assemblies have gathered in support of singularity frivolous issues, from the right to hold public dances inside financial, financial institutions to which colors should be painted onto our defense platforms. The protests are not violent, but they are noisy. Some of the civic services on Sirius Prime have been placed under strain by the disruption. The same cannot be said for the general public, however, who, rather than being inconvenienced, seem instead to be enjoying the quirky demonstrations. What's going on? The rise of the manifesti. Manifesti joy. Ooh. -hoo. What's going on there exactly? Well, uh, anyways, we have to choose a new way. 
to prosper, hopefully. How about harmony? Mm. I mean, we went for diplomacy. Not yet, actually. I mean, we should, because we are... We are... We're ruled by the... By the Galactic Corporation Council. But the question is, will it help us at all? And the answer is, not at all. <laughs> we might take that later, but it, at the current time, it won't help us just about anything. And we would be better mm, accompanied by going like something for prosperity or harmony even. Harmony is better to take first because of the leader lifespan increase. And so we're going to go for that harmony traditions. It's also very kind of unity and cooperation like to go harmony. So we'll go for that. Uh, the abandoned colony ruins here. Yeah. On Sirius. On Sirius. Are you serious? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the rubricator here? Here, here, here. Where are you all going to? Science ship. Not you. Not you. Ah, yes, you. On Sirius. There's still something to excavate. Let's go there first. Wonderful, wonderful. Good that I remember that. Good I discovered that. Sweet. Ah, oh, insult from the... <laughs> we evaluated his revered elder friendly Sham Dale II as a candidate for joining the Devourer. Sadly, we must inform you that membership requires a rudimentary brain. Oh, God, they're preparing to attack us as well. That's really not good. I mean, at least they're kind of losing here, which is great. The Manifesti. The protests on Sirius Prime have ceased almost as suddenly as they began. Rumors about their origins abound, but many whispers speak of a group called the Manifesti. This enigmatic collective seems to have responsible for a number of provocative art projects in recent years, the subject matter every bit as spurious as the issues we're seeing protested on Sirius Prime food. Uh, let the players have their fun. We're tolerant for now. Complete. We're the Cooperation Council. Not very strict. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. We have the brain jaundice, yes. Um, maybe we should just... It's the old Korvsky. Let's research that here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, where are you going? We're going to the sun system. Might as well research here, don't you think? Liam? Yes, you're probably very interested into that. Okay, good, good, good. So we're building here already. That is really nice. Relic activation. Yeah. One day, one day. Evading heretics. What? 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 What is? What is going on? There's a mining corpse here. Why are you moving through here? You're evasive. I probably haven't seen them, right? Construction. Uh, complete. Oh well, they're going through here. The mining drones going everywhere. Hmm. 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 <sighs> but now we know. Now we know, and now we can send you again. So we're going around there. Starbase in orbit here. Nice. Okay, Aegis Aquarius to Pith. Leo. Make it happen. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Sitter will also be a good thing to have. Boom. That was extremely quickly. Uh, build the outpost. 
Yeah, we're now close to our limit. And this means we should try to, um, of course, first expand stations, right? Trappist station, for example. Upgrade the stations. That would be a great idea. And then have the some platforms. Have granted us new wisdom. Defense platform hull points plus 500 <clears throat> with improved structural integrity will help us out a lot. Mm. Okay, now carrier operations, better strike craft will help us. Mm. All of that. Thankfully, we can buy a lot. Yeah, let's buy for quite a number. One thing. Nice. Pictures grant a thousand words. A subversive dialect has taken root within our art centers and educational institutions. Its origins lie in another project penned by the Manifesti. Linguists note that this, in this so-called Özlerp speak, all words relating to our economy have been replaced with expressive grunts. More worryingly, its many and colorful insults all seem to derive from the names of prominent military figures. This has drawn formal complaints from the individual's families. But gives more happiness. Keep an eye on them now. Do they want to destroy our society? Or are they, are they just funny, funky artists? We'll the see. Spirits have granted us new wisdom. We'll see! But we have more artists and output, thankfully, now. Uh, what would be good next? And what would help us? Most importantly, mm, probably that would help us best for more energy, but... Mm, Better ships would also help us a lot. Improved reactor booster, here we come. Special mm. project. Sleeping made. crystal nest. The trapped asteroid is in fact a crystalline being's nest. It is good that we didn't keep digging, for it seems like we agitated the creature hibernating inside. If we do nothing for a while and study it from afar, it should settle down. And we gained crystal-infused plating in the trapped asteroid. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. Are we building? We're building. The starbase is ready. Complete. In peace. You're moving to Sidia. You're moving to... Uh, that's still too strong. We could move to Howard too. Uh, we have a couple of no orders people. We should move them to Imdar. What about that guy? Analyzing debris here, and he will analyze debris there. And then, wait, and then Mr. Liam, you'll go to Imdar to help. Get the Hauer system out there. Debris analyzed. Oh, nice. Mining drone lasers. And here, mysterious ruins on Sirius. The strange ruins show no sign of damage beyond neglect. Homes, factories, buildings of unknown use. They all stand empty and abandoned. Where did everyone go? It seems likely that a large building in the center of the colony may hold the answers. Investigate it. Jason Edwards leveled up. What are the Devourers doing? I hope they lose, but I'm not sure if they do. Yeah. Uh, they're eating the Theocracy of Zama. That's really bad. Star Force with their minor fleets. Ah, we've got a moon base. Where is that thing? In Penosta. Just in the middle of the Devourers. Ah, we'd really like to strike there, but hey, mirrors brightly the Manifesti have unveiled their most public exhibition to date. A new and extremely popular interactive experience on Sirius Prime for invites visitors to manipulate reflections. It all happens on Sirius and images of themselves and to create distorted collages of political figures. Some from other galactic empires. Critics herald these pieces as casting a necessarily and harsh light upon our sense of self. 
The exhibition has also inspired a number of other satirical works, both on domestic issues and on pan-species relations. Debate amongst our social researchers is lively. More conservative voices urge caution. Um, hmm. Bold statement. Yeah, it's a bold statement. We try to keep cool. We try to be tolerant, you know. Cooperation is the message. Even though they are not cooperative, we have to, uh, I don't know. Try to cooperate with a with a non-cooperative. Who knows? Who knows what it may what it may bring? Uh, let's get more going here, and we'll see what we'll do in the future. Always ah uh, more humans coming. Debris oh, and this is so terrible. More debris analyzed. Construction is complete here in Valais. Yeah, we're getting into that step by step. Reinforcements in transit. Nice. What about our fortress world here? What do we need? Oh, Galamon. We'd need more. Mm. We need training centers here. Well, let's just build two of these army things again. Look at that. Consumer goods getting much better now. Nice. Just nice. And something has happened in the abandoned colony ruins. A strange crystal. A large crystal has been found inside what we now know to have been the colony's central administrative center. In some way we cannot fully describe, the crystal seems to have wanted to be found and is trying to communicate with us. Perhaps with further study, communication will be possible. Probe the crystal! What's going on here? We're excavating. Ah, yeah. One, one is assisting, one is excavating. Of course, of course. Have we, you have no orders to... Okay, you also go here to Hauer. Rise of the Manifestes. Rumors abound that a new faction may be formed inspired by so-called Manifestism. Its proponents speak of contradictory and bizarre causes, such as free movement of rivers and greater personal autonomy for munitions. I mean, this goes along with our rebel nature, right? Existing factions complain that their own events are being disrupted by these Manifestes, whose spurious queries are interfering with acts of everyday governance. That's how we started out. Interesting. That's how we started out back then on Earth. Construction complete. Sweet. So Gava Starbase finished the queue. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What will be next? We're on our way to Sidia and we'll build something there. Faction founded the Manifesti Partei, led by scientist Dhruv Shastre. Dhruv Shastre? Is that... I don't know. Where is that scientist? Hey, Dhruv. Yeah, here we go. He's an observer, psychic, and he's an industry expert. Founding something like that. Let's have a look at that faction. So you'll be also be it will also be possible for you to wait for them. They also have egalitarian ethos. They want alluvial liberalism, unrestricted movement of water, a gallery of the retina. <laughs> Keep consumer goods production in deficit, keeping our citizens free of what they call the ready-made scourge. And silent partner will please the Manifesti Partei to wield political or diplomatical power and refuse to deploy it. Engaging in staring contests instead of sending envoys. Heads in the clouds. Technology research should be entrusted only to a visionary council of carefree roamers. <laughs> oh, try it crazy. I like it. What the heck? What is that? Are we going? We're going mad, probably. In the face of this threat, we're going crazy. We're just going. We're losing our minds. Everyone is losing their minds. The craziness is there. 
we're going to Sidia and we're building I don't know what come on build a star base Leviathan defeated the next heralds of death has vanquished an ancient threat in the Karus system hey next heralds how are you doing oh phew. way too good way too good oh god <laughs> they're the, the yeah the counterpart of the Ilyifs, the devourers everyone's going down in this galaxy it's the, the doomed galaxy new wisdom. it's the doomed galaxy um okay what what next um what could be good activate the l gate i don't know I don't know. Mm, yeah, let's go improve deflectors. Whatevers, whatevs. Debris analyzed. Meltani. Hmm. Nice. And another event. The strange crystal. After a great deal of trial and error, a breakthrough has been made. The crystal is some kind of psionic archive, but its records are fragmented. What we know is that this was a colony of the Zroni, a psycho psionically gifted race who discovered a dimension which came to be known as the Shroud. Once the Zroni population reached critical mass, it seems that their collective unconscious minds began to make contact with the proto-Shroud in dreams, leading to mass lucid dreaming. The phenomenon was studied and the Zroni discovered how to psionically project themselves into the Shroud, at which point they also found that they could manipulate the very fabric of reality using their psionic powers. It wasn't long before the Zroni discovered they could physically enter the Shroud and live like gods, transforming the dimension to suit their whims. The archive's records end here, with no information on what happened to the inhabitants of Sirius Prime. But while there are no answers here, we have learned of another Zroni colony, which may contain a more complete archive. Okay. We've discovered a new minor colony here on Nimiroth Prime. Something coming our way here. Uh, but we will send our expert. Hello, Sirius. Jason Edwards, go over there to Nimiroth to excavate the site. Getting in there. Getting in there. And we also need to make everything, uh, how do we call it? Pirate safe. What, what also could we do here? Mm, yeah, offworld trading companies are in order in these trade stations. I think Wickler Station, on the other hand, it's here, it's the Empire Bastion. Uh, let's have some, I don't know, gun batteries there. And what do we want here? Target uplink computer? Sure. We'll go for that. Fine, fine, fine. That is how we shine, shine, shine. Hey, dear overlords, what are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're winning. I never thought I'd say this, but I hope they're winning. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like they're losing. Carrier operations, basic strike craft. That's very good. So we can also build the hangar base now. Um, what would be next would be probably crystal infused plating very very nice idea mm. let's see about the technologies yeah improved deflectors after that maybe we can uh, build up a little bit we'll see we'll see construction complete have we done here enough enough uh, where should we go next to Howard of course the Volga will go Special there. Project complete. The seance Three after days eyes. of being locked in a hypnotic trance our psychics in the conclave of telepaths have finally managed to open a brief gateway into the shroud. Everything happens at once. Now that we've established an initial sonic link, we will be able to access the shroud through the contacts in the future. 
Do I make any min meaningful forays into this realm and meet the beings who dwell there, we're likely to make use of the special psionic emitters to extend our psychic reach, so consume a tremendous amount of energy. Time to reach in and see what we find. The Shroud. It's unbelievably strange and unsettling, but also immediately familiar. Anyone with sonic powers will have seen this place in their dreams, though they likely did not know it at the time. We linger now at the precipice of this realm, not far from the empty void of the in-between that serves as the boundary between here and normal space, or what we would call the real world. To venture deeper into the Shroud will require great effort on the part of our telepaths, as well as a large amount of energy. We must not dally. Even now we're being watched. Thankfully we have energy. We're looking down upon our galaxy from far above at a distance of what must be hundreds of thousands of light years. Without warning the sonic current plunges us down towards the myriad stars at an incredible speed into the region of space belonging to one of the fallen empires, the Sibeli Remnant. Stars swish by, then planets, until the vision finally settled on a Sibeli city. Incredible spires rise towards the sky, aided by anti-grav technology generations beyond our own. The current takes us into such a spire, though wall after wall, until we reach a large meeting room of sorts. It is occupied by two Sibeli, floating comfortably in zero-gravity chairs while conversing with each other in soft voices. They are oblivious to our presence. Mm, reach into their minds in search of secrets. The Savelli are clearly dignitaries of some kind, discussing matters of state. Slowly, surely, the vision encroaches upon them, while their alien speech is gradually transformed into words that have meaning to us. Is mad if she thinks that the people would be willing to accept even a momentary lapse in the living standards that they have grown accustomed to theirs. The mind glow of the two Savelli is overwhelming, like a blossoming flower. Their minds open and are laid bare. It would be so easy to reach in. Don't care what the council says. The upstarts are still millennia behind us. Their miserable fleets can no more threaten us than a Garusian gnat could consume a Hidotaxi fire lizard. There's no need for their technological secrets plucked from the recesses of their minds as easy as one would copy a file from an unlocked computer. The Savelli remain ignorant of the theft that has taken place within their very minds. Exit the, the Shroud. Have granted us new wisdom. With living metal. <laughs> nice. So we get that technology. Cool. Allies the debris too. And we should be free there. Yeah, we're going over there. That's a nice idea. And we will very soon invade that so far protected territory. Leo. Dive in. It's time to take this. Complete. It's time to take this on. Rio Grande complete the construction of a mining station in orbit of Jondas A. Nice. But now we're diving in, taking more. Oh, look at that. Naval capacity is rising. And we have, yeah, the ancient mining drones. Goodbye. We'll keep you in the records. We will reconstruct you if we can. Power system. Now, what we want in there is these two. You survey the system. You also survey the system. Uh, let's see. Let us see. Um, yeah. and tricks and for this we will turn on map this oh, we still have map the stars because it's relatively cheap right now that's nice we should also turn on research subsidies i feel it's not that not that much so we'll we'll be able to do that it's okay it's okay the spirits have granted us new wisdom. Improved deflectors. These updated deflector screens are capable of soaking up even more punishment before they overload. On the other hand, right, um, should really complete the unity stuff. And now, what should we research more? Yeah, mining drone lasers. A lot to be learned from that, finally. Ah. Uh, 
Maybe let's have it for one for one month. It's okay. Okay. Getting in there. Mm, you're also going there. Yeah, you can research the project here. Debris. That is and should be fine. Aegis Centauri. Fill that fleet up. Here we go. A fleet of 100, have we said. Ah, uh, the Blurks click has declared. Yeah, that's good because the Blurks are also really, really terrifying. And they are part of the Stellar Mutual Assistance. Packed, which makes them way more powerful. They're also a bandit kingdom, so it's <laughs> rather very terrible. But hey, we have harmony now and a longer leader lifespan. And of course, um, more levels for the leaders too. So that's not to be... By embracing a combination of new meditation techniques and healthier eating habits, a large segment of our population enjoys a greater life expectancy than ever before. And that is really good for us. Everything for the people. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Amoeba pre breeding program. We have amoeba flagella. Nice. Can program their flagella now. Hmm. Diplomatic. Yeah, we are also into all things diplomatic here. Diplomatic weight and embassy complex. Seems good enough. What do we have? The star base here. It's ready. Good, good, good. Storial star base as well. We should gain more income through this. Which is just, just very good. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Mining drone lasers. Yeah, it's going step by step now. Auxiliary fire control will also be very helpful in defending one day. Ah, we got the influence ready. Fleets are in transit. We're okay with that. We need to buy some food again. Let's get us a thousand food. And the rest is okay. Anomaly found. Aha, uh -huh, the house is oh, a challenging thing. A small and otherwise insignificant moon orbiting this gas giant appears to be on a trajectory that will soon result in a collision with its primary. Ooh. Crazy stuff. Construction complete. It should also go in here. The Volga. Peace with the Ovia Guardians. Aha. Uh -huh. Helgans are just humiliated. Okay. <laughs> At least only that. But that will really bring them down a lot too. Going to Hauer. Cooperative System research channels. Complete. That will help us a bit. And we can build that outpost here. Let's do that. Instant output. Um, yeah, Liam, you should you should research the anomalies here. I am like a Liam in Hauer. Lord Might, busy commanding here. Very cool. We could position ourselves next to Trappist and prepare to take over Melitani. So we've got that too. Ah, we'll see about that. And then later on, complete. the enigmatic energy. Why are we waiting for us? Trappist Starbase is ready. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else could we go for here? Mm. Resource silos will help us out. Crew quarters are kind of good for something like that. And shipyard two times. Nice. Getting on to that. Yeah, we have our excavator here. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Oh, we see yeah, how everything's going down to the Ilyovsta. The archivists. 
if they could only take areas from them. Crystal infused plating is ready, at least some good news. Um, city district housing would be great. Manufacturing though would also be great. Let's go for the manufacturing. We'll need that. We won't we'll need that before long. Where are we have more that are fleeing from the devourers? Going to our research planet. Construction Terminal commands. orbit. Aha. Uh -huh. One of the many moons circling spjoot has a terminal orbit. It will soon collide with a gas giant in what is sure to become a massive impact event. This event has been millions of years in the making. It's a startling coincidence that the impact has been fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Many of our scientists wish to observe and record the event, but we only have a narrow window before it's Situation too late. Situation log updated. Okay, you go in there, Liam. It's a spectacular thing to witness. Ah, we've we've taken that. Very good. We'll go over here to Melitane. Get in there. And you? Get some fleet going. Cool, cool, cool. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Auxiliary fire control, very nice. Mm. There's something that we direly need, not really. And we can go for planetary inhibitors and stuff. Let's do progress. Our systems ready. Let's see what we can do. In the Zroni Minor Colony, we found mysterious ruins. It contains the ruins of another abandoned Zroni colony. The first step to solving this mystery is to find and make contact with this world's sonic archive. Probe the next crystal. Step by step. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Wicklaw Starbase also finished its construction. Nice. And Xeno Diplomacy. More diplomatic weight. Not that it really matters for us, but we're going the diplomatic path. Hey, hey, hey. Um, no, we don't want to remove the tile blockers. But we go for artificial moral codes. That seems worth it. Network amenities. Crime goes down. Amenities goes up. It's worth it. Alloys too. Construction complete. Research station in orbit here. Mm. Sweet. Research station won't interfere with the thing, I hope. Let it rest. At 100 now. Ah, uh, yeah. Once once the constructor Special is there, we'll project. go over. Special project. Aha. Uh -huh. Successful in our attempt to record the collision between Spjude and its moon, the event was captured from several different angles and transmitted live throughout our space. Most importantly, our scientists under the leadership of Skola the Lion II were able to record a large amount of valuable physics data that will surely benefit our research. Marvelous. Just marvelous. And with this marvelous thing, we say... Um, See you soon for now. Brace yourselves for the last chapter of this election season, where we'll see if uh, the Star Force can do anything to hold these guys back, or if just everything will maybe already go down to the Devourers. They're probably the most powerful realm out there, next to the next Heralds of Death, of course, the Purity Order. And we'll see what becomes of this galaxy. Will we all go down? Or will we survive together by some kind of wonder? Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Simon Rakan signing out. Have a great time until then. And see you soon.